three peninsulas basking in the sun by the Aegean Sea. At the horizon, the blue color of the sea blends with the blue of the sky. The evergreen conifer wood stretches down to the coast. The sand is soft and warm from the cares of the playful Mediterranean sand. The scent of resin and the salty aroma of the sea permeates the air. Supermodern hotels and a cosmopolitan environment, luxury and comfort, beach bars and country clubs, sports facilities for yachting, hiking trips and mountain biking, free diving and sailing. Two international festivals and numerous cultural events are held in Halkidiki, along with local fairs and other celebrations, ancient cities and Byzantine towers. They are all here in Halkidiki, waiting for you to discover them on Cassandra, Sithonia, the holy mountain Athos and the mountain of Kalamon. Halkidiki. Even if you just glance at the map of Greece, that triple peninsula lying at the north of the Aegean Sea is bound to catch your eye. Hundreds of bays and beaches with ivory sand make its coastline. The mountain of Kalamon is Kalkiriki's natural boundary to the north. It provides habitat to several species of flora and fauna and is home to hundreds of people living in the picturesque villages that lie on its slopes. Five hundred and twenty-two kilometers of coastline are at your disposal, waiting to become the local for some of your most exquisite experiences. This is one of the few places in which one beach closely alternates to the other, and yet every one of these beaches retains its own spatial character. The hotel owners, in collaboration with the local authorities, ensure the perfect function of the hotels and hostels. Allow yourself to enjoy the cares of the creek sand and feel the salty breeze of the clear gin sea in your skin. You have many alternatives, swimming, water skiing, wind surfing, sailing, not to mention playing beach volley. If, on the other hand, you are more of a solitary person, you may go for the secluded bays that make you feel as if you are on your own private beach. When it comes to natural beauty, Kalkidiki seems to have been favored by Mother Nature. And yet, natural beauty is not the only reason why Halkidiki stands out among Greek and international tourism destinations. As a result of individual initiative, combined with the exemplary cooperation of Halkidiki's Hotel Association, the prefectural authorities and of course the people, Halkidiki is in the position to offer high quality services without having to give up its local character. Quality is the trademark of Halkidiki's hotels. Not only does it define the services rendered from several four- or five-star hotels, which can be found along the coasts of Cassandra, Sithonia and the area close to the holy mountain of Athos, but it also extends to the services of the family-run hostels that abound on both the coastline and the mountains island. The services at the marinas, shopping centers, spas and fitness clubs will leave you with the best of impressions after your holidays in Kalkidiki have ended. It is not by chance that Kalkidiki has become one of the most preferred places to hold conventions and conferences. 
Apart from that, Kalkidiki has recently become the main destination of sea sports and yachting related tourism in northern Greece. Nightlife options in Halkidiki are just too many. The countless beach bars and clubs on Cassandra and Sithonia, especially those in Calithea and Neos Marmaras, will fulfill every one of your expectations and offer you the opportunity to watch the majestic sunrise. It is well known that Greece is a country that never sleeps, especially during the summer. If you are more demanding than cosmopolitan, you may enjoy the sunset while having dinner or a drink at your hotel. You could also spend unforgettable moments wandering in the narrow streets of Athetos or Parthenonas, the two most outstandingly picturesque villages of Kalkidiki. Few places in Greece can compare to their beauty. As far as culinary delights are concerned, hundreds of Greek tavernas in both cosmopolitan and more secluded island localities will gladly introduce you to the tasty dishes of the traditional Greek cuisine. You have to remember that Kalkidiki is famous for some characteristic traditional products such as olive oil and olives, honey, feta cheese and wines. The quality of these products rates among the highest throughout the Mediterranean region. As a result of the initiative of both the hotel owners and the local community, several forms of alternative tourism have been developed in Halkidiki. The visitors have the potential to delve into numerous enjoyable and recreational activities, fit for people who love life, keep in motion and aspire to develop their body without overlooking their spirit. The relative activities include free diving, sailing, windsurfing, game fishing, golf, mountain biking and tennis along with bird watching, residence in a spa resort, hiking trips that are 20 special hiking paths complete with signs and rural tourism on the mountainous part. Kalkiriki's history dates back to the days when history and myth were indistinguishable. Welcome to the Potidio Canal. From this side, the giants, sons of Uranus and Gaea, fought against the Olybus gods, who were on the other side of the Gulf of Thermaikos. Visit the ruins of the ancient city walls framing the canal and feel the consecutive layers of stone masonry dating back to the ancient times with your own hands. Olympus, Athethus, Potidia. In the classical era they used to be mighty cities, the rich archaeological findings testify to that. Capo City, it hosts the oldest temple of Poseidon, god of the sea. According to local legend, the temple is being guarded by the dark-headed fairies. Uranopoli, Neafokia, Sani, Toroni, Galatista, the Byzantine towers are visible at quite a distance. Cassandra and Sithonia. The name of the Cassandra Peninsula comes from Cassandra's brother-in-law of Alexander the Great. The Sithonia Peninsula was named after Sithon, son of Poseidon, the sea god. Stagira. It is the birthplace of Aristotle, the teacher of Alexander the Great. The cave of Petralona. This cave is world famous because in it were discovered the most ancient remains of a half in the world. Another renowned finding is the fossilized skull of the archaic man of Petralona, a transitional between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens. Mount Athos the Holy Mount of Athos, Ark of Faith for the Orthodox Church and Heaven to Many Monks, is also situated within the province of Kalkiriki. Its monasteries are built on Mount Athos' steep cliffs overhanging the sea. Like fortresses, these monasteries defend Holy Mary's garden from the sins and the delusions of the world. 
write, study, praise the Lord, show compassion, keep your silence. These are the rules of monastic life of Mount Athos, which is characterized by celibacy, work and fasting, and is dedicated to the exaltation of the spiritual element. The monasteries are open to laymen regardless of religious conviction after the obtaining of a special permit issued by the Mount Athos Autonomous Administration. Only men are admitted. However, both men and women can enjoy a boat trip around the peninsula of Mount Athos. The starting place for these trips is the port of Uranupoli, which lies in one of the most rapidly developing tourist areas of Kalkariki. Taking this trip will be, for you, an unforgettable experience. Being such a historical place, Kalkidiki naturally hosts a variety of cultural events that help form bonds between the tourists and the local people. Two international festivals take place in Kalkidiki every year. The Cassandra Festival organized by the Municipal Administration and the Festival of Sunny held at the Sunny Hotel Complex, which includes an internationally renowned jazz music sector. In addition to the above, the numerous local fairs and festivities held during the summer account for the fact that summer in Kalkidiki is a continuous celebration. Along with the local fishermen in the traditional fishing villages of Olimbiara and Nea Mudania, you may participate in the Mussel Festival held in the beginning of July and the Sardin Festival held at the end of July. Don't forget to wish the fishermen a good take. You must also take a note of the Mushroom Festival on the mountain village of Taxiarchis, during which mushroom pies are served. The Olive Festival held at Olynthus on the 20th of July in the honor of the prophet Elias. The Big Fair held at the village Agios Mamas in September, and the cultural events that take place in Aphetus throughout the summer season. Kalkiriki, a gate to civilization, a source of revival and inspiration, an earthly paradise full of secret aspects. The ideal destination for your holidays, only a stone's throw from the airport of Thessaloniki, Kalkiriki is waiting to reveal itself to you.